Hello, everybody. My name is Kwon Chu Hyun. I'm from South Korea. Well, I'm a news presenter here in Korea. I deliver news and also I teach English to students. Well, in this channel, I would like to introduce Korean culture to you. It could be about dining out, it could be eating habits, or it could be some entertainment news. Well, if there is any topic that you would like to know about Korea, please comment. Please tell me. I would love to accept your opinion. Today, I am going to touch upon 10 dining taboos in South Korea. 10 things that you should not do on the table while eating with your friends, acquaintances, your co-workers, anybody. Okay, everybody, are you ready for that? Number one, don't start eating before the elders. Well, in this country, we do respect the elders, the old. The old should start eating first and then it is your turn it is the youngs that they can eat right if you start eating before the elders you might look quite rude so be careful look around the table and see well who's the eldest who's the oldest one and wait till they eat first number two don't leave chopsticks stuck in rice so i mean Avoid leaving your chopsticks stuck upright in a bowl of rice. Never ever do that because if you do that, it's kind of a traditional ritual that we do during Chuseok, Thanksgiving holiday, or when your grandfather or grandmother passed away on that day. So don't do that. Number three, don't blow your nose at the table. Like this, when you're eating at the table, Never ever do that because it looks very rude, impolite, and it's quite dirty to do that while other people are eating. Am I right? But the thing is, when I was in the UK, it was kind of a natural thing. It was okay. But in Korean culture, if you want to blow your nose, you've got to use the restroom. You should go to the restroom. Number four, don't lift your bowl off the table. Well, Koreans generally keep their bowl on the table throughout the meal. Picking up your bowl might be interpreted as rude or greedy behavior, that you would like to eat all of the bowl, all of the rice, all of the soup while eating. It's, it's kind of different. Japan, Japanese people, they hold their bowls, but in Korea, we don't do that. Number five don't use one hand exclusively avoid using just one hand while using utensils i mean passing or receiving dishes when you pass or receive dishes you've got to use both hands don't use one hand this actually demonstrates respect for others at the table using both hands okay would you like to eat this would you like to pass me those dishes with two hands so use two hands don't waste food. Wasting food is a big no-no in Korean culture. Well, if you visit your friend's house, if you go to your co-worker's house, well, they will serve you with a nice dish, nice, lovely meal, delicious meal. But thing is, they will give you a huge rice. I am sure they will give you a lot of food. But the thing is, if you leave some food, it might be seen as disrespectful to the cook's efforts. That means the owner, the host might think, eh, is the food not good for you? Is it not really delicious? Well, you don't like that? It's not your cup of tea? They might think like that. Number seven, don't hold utensils in mid-air. When you're not using your utensils, when you're not using your spoon or your chopsticks, put them next to your plate on the table or you can just put them on the provider utensil holder that's it holding the utensils in mid-air or pointing at others is considered quite rude don't do that number eight don't pass food directly with chopsticks Passing food directly from one person's chopsticks to another is not common in Korea. So when you share food, when you would like to share food with others, yes, of course you can use chopsticks, but not to another's, well, not to the partner's, the counterpart's chopsticks. Put them on their plate. Put them on the top of their rice bowl. That's it. That's the thing that you should do. Number nine, 
Don't lift your soup bowl to drink. Avoid lifting the soup bowl to drink directly from it. I mean, when you would like to drink some soup, just use your spoon. Number ten. Don't leave your spoon in the soup bowl. Avoid leaving your spoon in the soup bowl while you're not eating it. Well, leaving your spoon inside the bowl might be seen as unclean. It means dirty, you know, and uh, dirty. So put the spoon right next to your plate, right next to your bowl, soup bowl. So that's it. You know, don't put it. Put your spoon or even your chopstick inside the soup bowl. Don't do that. So everybody, how was today's video? Did you like it? Please subscribe to my channel and press the button like. That will be very helpful for me. Thank you for joining me today, and everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers.